I'm back. We are talking today with an amazing woman, Lisa Reed. She has booked and delivered over 300 talks since 2013. 300 talks since 2013. That's huge. How many stages is that? How do you get on those stages and how do you hit those numbers? And that's what we're going to talk about today. And she is going to be at our Summer School for Speakers August the 16th, which we've been talking about all week. So please welcome Lisa Reed. And Lisa, tell us a little bit about your background and what you do. Hello. Thank you, Tony, for having me on today. I'm so excited about this event. Um, what I'm the founder of Get Speaking Gigs Now, and it really started because I, I kept booking myself so many speaking engagements, and people would ask me all the time, how did you do that? How did you do that? So I took my teaching and facilitating skills to the task. I took them to speakers and say like, here's how actually I do it here. It's a system. It's actually a seven step system that I go. These are all the little, I call it the pieces of the pie. These are the pieces of the pie that you need to have in place so that you can then get out there, get booked, stay booked and make an impact, get your clients, all those fun things that speakers want to do. Great. Now, um, I know that a lot of people are beginning speakers. They don't even know how to get on that first stage. Yeah. And that is just so difficult. Do you suggest um, they just speak anywhere or do they, should they focus in on audiences that are their niche, which I think they should do, but how do you do that? How do you find that first stage to get up in front of? That's a great question. And actually I am an advocate of practicing on people that are audiences that may not be your perfect audience. You might still get a client, but just to go out, not to have your very first speaking engagement be your perfect audience. Personally, I, I think um, a lot of, I'm a big advocate of practice and you and I definitely recommend practicing by yourself, you know, so you have your talk ready and you could be doing it to your cat or your dog or whoever. <laughs> That's, uh, I notice a lot of speakers resist practicing, but I still practice. Anytime I have a new talk, I absolutely practice it out loud. Now then the next layer of practice would be in front of a live audience of people that don't know you because, you know, maybe your, your friends and family are going to be super, super supportive and kind, but we got to like, you know, level it up a little bit. How do we, how do we act in front of, uh, people that don't know us what and and I think that's a great opportunity to practice You still might get a client. I have actually done gotten clients or audiences that I didn't think were going to be a fit for me But more than that you get practice So that especially if like you're super nervous the more you do it in front of a live audience um, The more your nerves will go down and then you'll talk, you know in your normal tone <laughs> And you'll you'll also be able to like sometimes there's hecklers and I I don't mean Hecklers are, that's a, that's a general term, but sometimes there's people who throw out questions and for a new speaker that could throw you off. So you want to start to desensitize yourself to that, uh, possibility, or it could be, they start serving food in the middle of your talk or whatever. Like there's all kinds of environmental things that could happen that if you're not seasoned, you could throw you off. So my vote is go out there, practice it enough times to where you feel like, okay, I've gotten a, I've gotten a, a handle on this, then go for your like dream ideal clients. And there's a lot of places that you can practice. So, well, it's like, you know, it's better to fail in front of a smaller audience that, you know, then get out in front of this ideal audience and you freeze or something happens. Yeah. And, you know, I, I believe in practice. Um, but how do I, as a new speaker, mm -hmm. find those opportunities, even if it isn't, you know, my niche or whatever. How do I, you know, because there are so many speakers out there and there are a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. How do I find them? Yeah, uh, great question. And I am a super, I am a huge believer in abundance, of course, because I, I do tell, tell the speakers that I work with 100%. There are m so many opportunities. And even, um, I, I've actually given 400 speaking engagements, not 300, four, over 400 in the last, you know, since 2013. So um, I just gave one yesterday. There's, there's no shortage. So uh, where I recommend typically if it's someone new, 
um, and again, it sort of depends on their topic, but usually um, service groups like Kiwanis, Rotary are great places to start because they meet every week and they have a speaker every week. And there's multiple chapters all over. I mean, in LA alone, I'm sure there's over a hundred, right? So it doesn't mean that you're going to get that engagement. And it doesn't mean that awesome speakers aren't also filling those slots. But it's certainly, I would say, um, an easier fruit to grab if you're, if you're just getting started. So that's great information. Um, so what are you going to specifically talk about at the Summer School for Speakers? What are the things that, that if I come to this event, what am I going to take away from Lisa Reed? Yeah, well, one of the things, so we're talking about um, secrets to staying consistently booked as a speaker. And these are things that I've done. Um, again, I, when I say that I've booked and delivered over 400, it's not all on my own. It's like, how do you work with other people to get that kind of results? How do you work smart, not hard? Because I get it. Speaking is one part of what you're doing, but it's ultimately so you can get more clients, so you can monetize your speaking, so that you can, um, you know, have more freedom or whatever it is that your dreams are of, uh, in your life and, and make an impact while you're doing it. So that's what I'm going to be sharing is some of those secrets that um, we may not know, like you never go to class. There's not a class in college. And I say this as a, I have a bachelor's and a master's in speech communication. So for real, there is not a class on how to monetize <laughs> your speaking or like how the business works necessarily in college. And um, so we like decide we want to be a speaker because we have this important message to share. And then we're like, well, wait, how do I, how, how do I do that? Like and then you kind of end up going to the school of hard knocks and which, I mean, I had to figure this out. I didn't know what a speaker sheet was even. And if you don't know, then you definitely should be coming to the event. Um, so I did a hundred talks without even having a speaker sheet. I didn't know what it was. Didn't know to ask. Never, no one told me. Why would anyone tell me that? So all that stuff, I'm, I'm not going to share all of it because <laughs> we won't have time, but um my goal is to get speakers, um, if they want to be on more stages, I want to show you how to do that. And I want to make sure that you can do it quickly, easily, effortlessly, and hopefully have fun doing it too. So you get to play with other people. And, and I think that's um, how I've continued my success. And that's what I teach other people. It's like, how do you collaborate so you can work together and um, make it a fun process and make more money? Well, that is so great. I am so excited and I'm looking forward to it again. It's Summer School for Speakers. It is August the 16th in Thousand Oaks, California. You'll find a link in the comments. Um, please check us out and come see and spend the day with us. We have some amazing speakers that are going to be there. And if you want to build your visibility and build your business, the best way to do that is on stage. So come learn how to do it and make the most of every minute you're on that stage. So thank you again, Lisa, for joining us. You can find Lisa's information down below. I've got it. I've got her website down there and you can reach out to her for any questions that you might have for her personally. Thank you again and Thanks, see you next time.